Hello, I'm Dr. Luke Gordon. I'm a plastic surgeon and I work out of the Metamorphosis Clinic in Benoni, South Africa. I'm going to show you how Botox works to eliminate frown lines, wrinkles, and worry lines. Botulinum toxin A Botox is a complex protein produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. It's estimated that about 3.5 million treatments were done worldwide last year. And more popular than breast enhancement surgery, Botox is regarded as the ultimate fountain of youth. Botox was first approved in 1989 to treat two eye muscle disorders, uncontrollable blinking and in the treatment of squinting. As an unusual side effect of the eye disorder treatment, doctors noticed that it softened these lines here between the eyebrows, which tended to cause people to look tired or angry then started experimenting by injecting tiny amounts and they found that by injecting to this large muscle over here it smoothed out these lines on the forehead and there was dramatic improvement of the crow's feet when Botox was injected into this muscle around the eyelid here. In terms of planning how to smooth out these areas, what we do is inject tiny amounts into the muscle in about two centimeter or three centimeter intervals. Botox will essentially work in an area of about two centimeters around the injection site. Somewhat greater quantities are required to these muscles here because they're quite powerful and that helps to eliminate these lines over here and tiny amounts into this muscle here result in crow's feet being improved dramatically. Just to give you a rough idea of how it works, when you decide either voluntarily or involuntarily to contract a muscle fibre, let's say on your forehead, your brain sends an impulse down the nerve fibre and when it reaches the end, the impulse arrives here, a substance called acetylcholine is released causes the muscle fibre to contract. Botox basically blocks the action of or the release of acetylcholine and stabilises these little packets of chemical and this effectively paralyses the muscle for a period of about three to six months. Also very useful for the treatment of a depressed corner of the mouth. We inject a tiny little amount into this muscle here which weakens the muscle and results in elevation the mouth. For those who have soft wrinkles or fine wrinkles running out from the corner of the mouth, corner of the lip, uh, we inject tiny little amounts into this muscle here, which effectively results in smoothing out of these wrinkles here. Might not necessarily remove them all, but will result in Also used for the treatment of sweaty palms as well as sweaty armpits. Very effective. Lasts about six months or so. We do appreciate that it's not useful for the treatment of these deep lines running from the nose to the corner of the mouth, as well as for actually plumping up the lips. In this instance, it's far better if you use a filling agent such as Restylane. Assessing a patient for Botox, the first priority is to identify where we're going to place the Botox. Now generally the area a lot of people complain about is the deep frown lines between the eyebrows. And if I can just ask you to frown heavily. Now this frown is caused by two very large muscles here which contract together to pull the eyebrows together. So we inject the Botox um, into the muscle then uh, it will work in an area of about two centimeters around the um, injection site. Next, if I can ask you to look surprised. Now, this is often a complaint of patients is these deep forehead lines, and these respond exceptionally well to Botox. We generally start by marking areas about two centimeters apart, and 
bearing in mind that the Botox works in an area of about two centimeters around each uh, injection site in the mark in such a fashion. And if the patient really likes the Jack Nicholson look, you can place a little injection just under the eyebrow. The next area that we treat are the crow's feet. And if I can ask you just to scrunch up your eyes, this will exaggerate the effect of the crow's feet because there's a sheet-like muscle just under the, around the eyelid and the canine injection sites like so. And like so. This will then show the sites of injection and we'll demonstrate that now. Another very popular um, area that people like to have done, uh, they have the complaint of a slightly depressed angle of the mouth which makes them look cross. So what we do is we inject a little Botox into a triangular muscle that runs from the corner of the mouth to the jawline and that serves to, once that is um, weakened, there's a slight elevation of the corner of the mouth which gives an angelic smile. We'll now show the actual process of injecting the substance or uh, just stretching the skin. Injecting tiny little amounts of the substance just below the skin into the muscle. And what happens is after about five days or so, this area of the muscle will be paralyzed, eliminating the wrinkles. Muscles require quite a lot more imagine. Ask me. Okay, here we are looking at our patient seven days later, and if I can ask her to look surprised, uh, to look cross, and then just to scrunch up her eyes, the crow's feet. Okay, you can relax. Okay, you can scrunch up your eyes. Okay, relax. Scrunch up. Relax. Well, there you have it.